Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Sai Physiology Academy, Dope of a Shot. This is the place where we make the learning of physiology easy, exciting and effective. Thank you for joining me. And if you're new to this channel, you're especially welcome. And if you love the content that we share, kindly click the like button and also the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't get to miss any new content that we drop. Now let's get started. So now we're going to do cardiac and smooth muscle. Okay? It's similar to skeletal muscle okay it's always the interaction between myosin and what and actin but there are important differences okay i'm not going to go into too more details they are in the books okay but basic things that you must know must know okay so general this we'll start with the cardiac muscle okay so the cardiac muscle has been structured in a way that they need to beat together okay you have atrial ventricles okay so atrial muscles ventricular muscles so the two atrium left and right they beat together every single part of them why because they are connected to each other through gap junctions so there's a rapid flow okay of electrical impulses so they function as what is known as a sensitium sensitium okay function as the sensitium together as a unit the atrium as a unit the ventricle as a unit okay so that's you just you just need to know that then what you also need to know is the special way in which action potential is generated in the heart the cardiac muscle there are two types of action potentials one of them is you know the cardiac muscle okay in the heart you have what is known as the sinoatrial node in the sense that it spontaneously generates action potential it doesn't need stimulation from anywhere it just generates its own action potential repeatedly that's why your heart continues to beat unlike other muscles sometimes they are relaxed sometimes this one it continues from the day from the moment you are inside the womb it has been beating till now till you die continuously so it just continues to dish out action potentials like that spontaneously it's called automaticity okay so you have the SA node so SA node action potential the mechanism will talk about it then the cardiac muscle okay that's atrium and ventricle ventricular muscle atrial muscles cardiac muscle action potential how it is generated is different the way the AV SA node generates its own action is different from the way the cardiac muscle generates so we are going to be looking at that now look at what happens because of that automaticity it needs to continuously by itself there is a way it is structured okay the action potential of, of SA node looks like this, okay? Like this. But look at what happens. So there's depolarization quite all right, okay? But what instigates that depolarization is something very funny. There are sodium channels, okay, that cause the depolarization, the initial depolarization, okay? Part of it. But those sodium channels, what they respond to is hyperpolarization, negativity. Okay, it doesn't have a stable resting membrane potential. So when the membrane put about minus 55, some books will put it minus 60. Okay, around. So when the negativity during the repolarization of the previous cycle of action potential, when it gets negative like this to around this level, those sodium channels, they are called funny funny channels because of the unusual way they behave when it becomes negative like this those funny sodium channels they open and sodium rushes in 
and now starts causing more positivity depolarization so after a while after some depolarization has happened then calcium channels they are called t channels t channels this is calcium channels calcium t channels this t is standing for transient okay transient calcium channels. they now help to boost this depolarization by the funny sodium channels and they now boost it okay and now boost it up then as they boost it up and it reaches threshold once it reaches threshold another type of calcium channels open that one is called l type okay the l type which is long lasting this one is transient very briefly it's just to boost the sodium channel you see the the difference so it's the calcium channel that now takes it shoots it up okay the real action potential from threshold shoots it up overshoot and the normal potassium channels will open to cause repolarization and it goes back and moments it goes back and becomes negative it can the cycle repeats so it just continues to do like that do you understand that so that's what happens in this essay node then in the cardiac muscle look at the shape of the the action potential it goes like this you see that now you see it goes like this then there's a plateau it's table this thing like this horizontal and it comes down okay and we'll explain what happens there so this is the mechanism so it's around around minus 90 okay for the um there's a resting this one does not have resting no. it's unstable we're just saying that when it reaches around this 55 that's when the sodium funny opens okay but this one has resting membrane potential okay so it's divided into four phases actually five okay we, we call them zero one two three four so it's five okay? phase zero phase one phase two phase three and so on and so forth okay so that's what happens then in the cardiac muscle resting membrane potential is there quite all right then when it receives stimulation from this okay this one says this is what brings all the actual potential to stimulate the rest of the heart when it receives action potential okay there is the normal depolarization due to opening of sodium channels okay voltage gated sodium channels they open and then the action potential happens like everywhere but look at what happens now very quickly as it reaches this place that's those sodium channels are inactivated okay as they are inactivated there is a special kind of potassium channels that open and potassium is always living so as potassium is living that's what that's what causes this little notch here like this that you are seeing okay you are seeing this notch on top causes this this notch here like this okay so this place is called initial repair it's trying to repolarize but it now becomes horizontal what makes it horizontal okay this depolarization here is called phase zero then this one called phase one initial repolarization what happens is that calcium channels that are seen this l type calcium channels they open suddenly and they are now rushing in you know potassium is going out causing this initial calcium is coming in so calcium is positive potassium. so they counterbalance each other positive is going out positive is coming in so that's why they are now like a plateau at around zero millivolts here so this is the plateau known as two phase phase two so you see that what happens so it's long up to 200 
milliseconds this whole plateau or everything like this then after a while after it has plateaued for a while the calcial channels this air type will close and the normal usual repolarization three now happens that you see here then it now goes to normal resting potential which is regarded as four so four is resting three repolarization two plateau one initial repolarization okay and zero is depolarization so these are the stages of the cardiac muscle action potential why this SA node action potential you need to know that you've studied very well internalize it what causes the funny sodium channels and the rest of them so the next thing we are going to be looking at is the mechanism of contraction of cardiac muscle and then we just touch smooth muscle okay so don't go anywhere after this break all right you're welcome back now let's talk about the contraction the mechanism of contraction of cardiac muscles we'll talk about the action potential now look at what happens when action potentials are generated okay in the cardiac muscle almost the same mechanism with the skeletal muscle but here is the difference just a little difference the action potential now causes this action potential remember what happens here what do you say causes this plateau is calcium coming in the influx of calcium ions that's what causes this plateau so the same calcium ion that is causing this plateau in the action potential it enters the cytosol okay that's what happens as it enters the cytosol so that calcium that enters the cytosol causes the ranodine receptors ranodine receptors on the sarcoplasmic reticulum of the cardiac muscle cell to open what happens now then the normal calcium that is stored in that um, sarcoplasmic reticulum now a lot of this now comes out okay when it comes out then it now binds to troponin c and normal you know all that from skeletal muscle myosin and actin cross bridge cycling and contraction happens so what happens is that there is something is called calcium induced calcium release okay so that calcium that is entering into the cytosol from the extracellular fluid is what induces the release of calcium from unlike in skeletal muscles skeletal muscles does not need calcium to come in from the extracellular fluid into the cytosol all the calcium that is needed to bind to troponin c to cause contraction comes from the sarcoplasmic reticulum but in this one calcium needs to come from outside that is what will now induce the one in the sarcoplasmic to come out that's the only difference are you are you getting it now so that's what happens so it's just straightforward that's just the only difference okay let's quickly talk about smooth muscles smooth muscles they they are very undeveloped <laughs> okay they don't have all these troponin c and sarcoplasmic reticulum and all of that okay smooth muscles the mechanism is very different depending on the type of smooth muscles normal nerve impulses can activate smooth muscle contraction but not only that even hormones can make them to contract different local factors like acidity you see okay acidity can make them contract stretching can make them contract there's something like that mechano reserve they stretch calcium will enter they contract okay ph all different things can make them to contract even co2 level of co2 
some have chemoreceptors that will now open. So it's diverse depending on where the smooth muscle is located. But the major thing that still happens is that calcium comes in. Okay, so that one doesn't have a developed sarcoplasmic resin that brings out calcium to bind to troponin C. What it has is another type of calcium binding protein in place of troponin C. It's called calmodulin. Calmodulin. Okay, so when it's stimulated, depending on whatever stimulates it, whether it's hormone, uh, electrical impulse, or whatever. Calcium enters into the cytosol. Okay, so that's the only. It has that similarity with cardiac calcium entering into the cytosol. But that one, calcium enters and now brings out more calcium from cell. But this one, the calcium that just enters into the cell, it's enough. It's what will cause the contraction. So calcium now binds that enters binds to calmodulin. So the calcium calmodulin complex will now go and activate what to activate myosin light chain light chain kinase myosin light chain kinase it's an enzyme okay so calcium calmodulin complex will go and activate Myosin like chain kinase. Anything kinase means that it's phosphorylating something. So this enzyme will now phosphorylate myosin. Okay? It will phosphorylate myosin here. And that phosphorylation of myosin activates myosin. And myosin now immediately goes to bind to actin. Unlike in the other one, what is causing it is that myosin, I mean, in skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle is that actin, the active site is uncovered and then they bind. But this one, there's nothing like that. It is, the myosin is dependent on the myosin head. Once it's phosphorylated, it will go straight and bind to actin and then there's contraction. Do you understand? So that's what, that's what happens. Then there's also another enzyme, myosin light chain phosphatase. It's just the opposite of kinase, phosphatase. Okay, phosphatase dephosphorylates myosin. And one, once it does that, there's now relaxation. So you understand? So that's how it happens. The rest details you can read it up. But the main mechanism is what that you are usually asked. You just need to know it. Calcium carmodulin. The kidneys and all of that right so i'm going to see you in the next video